In Exodus 9, verse 16, the Bible says, And in very deed for this cause have I raised thee up. For to show, and this is, this is the word of the Lord speaking to Pharaoh, okay, just in context of Exodus 9, 16. And in very deed for this cause have I raised thee up, for to show in thee my power, and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. So he's telling Pharaoh, I raised you up to be in this position right now for my own benefit, for my own glory, so that the whole world is going to know that there's a Lord in heaven. That's why you're in the position you're in right now, because Pharaoh is full of pride, too. Who is the Lord? He thinks he's there because he's so great and he can abuse whoever he wants. And there's going to be no repercussions because who is the Lord anyways? And God said, you know what? The only reason you're in that position is because I wanted you to be in that position so that everyone can see how mighty and powerful I really am and that there is a God of the earth and there is a God of heaven. And it's the Lord. Now. So that doesn't, just because God establishes the rulers doesn't make those rulers good people. In fact, he often will bring the basis of men to be the rulers. So what is it that marks a good ruler? Because again, if you're going to look at different rulers, well, who's going to be a good ruler? And why do I keep bagging on the, the, the so-called choices that we have? Well, a good ruler is marked by wisdom. And you see this in the book of Proverbs. And I'm going to read a couple to you. Proverbs 8, you could stay in 2 Kings. Proverbs 8, verse 12, the Bible reads, I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty invention. So in Proverbs 8, wisdom is being personified. Just as we keep reading here, wisdom is personified. It says, I, wisdom. So now all the things we're going to see here is with that context in mind about wisdom being the narrator. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil Pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the froward mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. This is wisdom speaking, right? I am understanding. I have strength. By me, kings reign and princes decree justice. By wisdom, kings reign. By wisdom, princes decree justice. True justice. Right? By, you have to have wisdom in order to bring justice. Right? Otherwise, you have wicked people in charge. You're not going to have justice because they're warped. They're twisted. They don't care about what's right and what's just. But if they have wisdom, then they can bring justice. By me, princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. And it's talking about ruling there. It's talking about ruling well. It's talking about ruling the way that God would have them rule. You need wisdom. So if wisdom is so important for judges to rule, for kings to rule, for princes to rule, and to bring justice, what is the beginning of wisdom? Fear of the Lord. It's so simple. If we read our Bibles, the Bible's telling us, man, you know, if you're going to have a ruler that's going to have justice, if you're going to have a ruler that's going to be a good ruler, they need to be wise. They need to have wisdom. And if they don't have the beginning of wisdom, the very first step, the fear of the Lord, why am I going to think they're going to be a good ruler and they're going to bring justice and they're going to do anything right that's going to be good for a godly nation? And let me tell you, Biden and Trump, they don't have the fear of the Lord. Neither one does. Neither one does. Okay? Occasionally, they'll give lip service to the Bible or to a Christian base of people. But you can see by their lives, by their actions, by their choices, by what they do, they are not God-fearing people at all. God-fearing people don't praise weirdos and perverts. 